Welcome to the stage of history. I am your illustrious host, Kevin Uncanny Anytime. Welcome to Friday, y'all. So, going forward on Fridays, I will be doing a good news segment to be highlighting some of the good news for uh, those of you that may like watching the news or just want to know what's going on in the world. I'm going to be now searching for some good news to report. Uh, to be honest, what happened was I saw a couple things come across my feed on TikTok because I try to filter my content as much as possible as far as what I like and what I'm looking at for an extended period of time. So they pretty much for the most part either feed me really good news or um, positive upbuilding information. Every so often I get some derogatory stuff in there or some nonsense, but um, I'll just kind of go straight past it or something that's kind of funny. But outside of that, um, everything is pretty much geared to, you know, put me in a, in a more upbuilding type of uh, state of being, right? So what I thought was, okay, well, there's a couple of people that I, I know that mentioned that they, you know, watch the news and that they have to cut off the news or cut off the TV because the information is negative. So I was like, hey, let me take the reins on reporting news information and let's report really, really great things that are happening in the world. I saw this for Ocean Post. They've removed 25,000 or 25 million pounds of plastic out of the ocean, which is a super fantastic thing. And that's one of the things that I'm going to mention next week. Uh, and I'm going to be highlighting all of the things that they do and things like that. So kind of got to formulate that. But Again, don't want to get too crazy uh, with going off topic and talking about different things. Want to hone in on the information. And so uh, lastly, what I want to say is, you know, Mindset Matters Institute. Today is the last day to enroll. I might stretch it till Saturday, but that is absolutely it. Then we will not be advertising for the Mindset Matters Institute uh, as heavily as we were this week. This week is open enrollment, which is why I was talking about it so much. But jump in. Jump in. If you are looking for a way to be calmer, to be less stressed, uh, to find that happiness within yourself, that is what I teach. That is what the program is about. And then that is what the community also is all about. We have some great people, great leaders, great legendary people that are in the Institute right now, and they are set on making sure that they are upbuilding positive lighthouse leaders out there. All right. So enough about that. The topic I have for you today is the trust fund. <laughs> I heard this in a book. Um, something I'm trying to do is I'm trying to defy gravity. And that's actually the book title that I'm reading. And she went over this story about the trust fund and I was like, oh, this is good. Cause right away we think monetary, we think a oh, bank, you think, you know, there's some type of system that has to be set up. And then she went into the story of how this couple went through some really hard times. Um, it was really crazy. They were just going through a lot of things. And then all of a sudden their bank account went to zero. They had over, you know, 50, million dollars in the account and somehow later they found out through a technical error that it was a, a glitch but initially the bank said no 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 there is no problem you guys are flat broke this is this is just what it is and so when and they were in their 60s at this point and so when the um wife presented the information to the husband the husband said well do we still have the trust fund and she's like, the trust fund? The trust, what are you talking about? We don't have a trust fund. And he's like, yeah, the trust fund with God. Do we still trust that he'll help us out, that he'll be there with us, that he'll be there for us? And I was like, whoa. Now, all of this plays a part in defying gravity, right? Because gravity is talking about the weight, um, the weight of life and I'm going into another realm with that in my own personal journey, but 
Uh, it's interesting how I came across this book, and it's talking about letting the the weight of things off of you. You know, the weight in your heart, the weight of grief, all of this stuff, just to get it up off of you and to defy gravity in that mind state or in that type of a way of thinking, right? And so I was like, oh, that's really, really interesting. And so when he presented the trust fund, I, I had to ask myself, wow. Have I built up a trust fund with God? Interesting. Never thought about it. How high is your trust fund? Have you ever thought about that? Do you have trust in God? Do you really believe that he will be there for you and that you'll do the best you can to, you know, do whatever we need to do to stay in a good standing with the creator but have you ever really considered that i really thought that was a great thing to to talk about today and um letting letting you guys know that that's the realm i'm going in especially with the way things are going in the institute and the direction that we're taking things uh really 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 betting on the trust fund for sure because it's very unconventional the way that we are deciding to grow and also it is against the grain so to speak because i do not appreciate you know these psychological hacks to be put on people um i don't like that myself i like hey if i really like something i like getting it because i like it i don't want to be tricked into buying anything and so that's what i'm introducing into this company and that's how i wanted to operate and that's how i wanted to run i wanted to be very honest and integral in in its approach in every single aspect of that and that is <laughs> that is not an easy task ladies and gentlemen that is not an easy task and it takes a lot of fortitude and prayer and you know just mental um man mental strength endurance a lot of stuff to be able to go through a process like that because everybody else is yo here's the funnel oh here's five psychological hacks to you know make people make a buying decision and this that and the other and it's like i, I get it that's that's the majority of the world right that's the majority of the world they they want this they want to be tricked they want to be manipulated some kind of way into buying something and I'm just not, I'm like, we need to get off of that. And that's, that's some, that's another reason why I'm building this is because I'm like, we have to change that, y'all. As long as we continue to go in that direction and continue to say, yeah, it's okay to trick me. That's fine. Um, and be duped by these funnels and 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 some of the even though p some people are using funnels they have great systems they have great programs they have great information for you it's just the simple fact of going down the same exact path of you know hey you're not gonna know how to buy something unless i present it to you in this manner that's literally manipulating you and that irritates me so much because i'm like Okay, you might have great information and in you might have a lot of self-development and self-help, but are you really helping them if they have to initially get into your system by being manipulated? That means still subconsciously, they really don't know what they're doing. And, and I'm just strongly opposed to that. I, I, that's what I truly believe. I believe if you have to get manipulated to buying something, you still really don't know what you're doing. Um, to be truly yourself and to really, really dive into something, you should process it. You should analyze it and listen to it and watch it and really really sit with yourself to say hey is this something i want to try out hey is this something i want to do or is this something i want to buy not based off of the the way that something is presented and the way that it's showcased i mean i i still go for that stuff because i i will with me with editing and videos and stuff like that i know how much work goes into it 
and I will purchase something based off of the the showcasiness of it because that's me that that's what I do and I appreciate the the work that goes into that because I know a lot of work goes into visual effects and stuff like that so I'm not saying that it's it's not okay to gravitate to something that you actually appreciate and like right so and because that's not manipulation i'm like oh that was a really cool i'm i'm so appreciative of how much effort and and detail they put into the the sale or the presentation or the creativeness of certain um commercials and stuff like that like i and, and then in tandem with a great product, right? Not just let me lull you into a bogus product and put all this money into the commercial either. I don't want you, I don't want to do that either. That's not what I'm going for. So it's, it's to help you guys to, to understand that a, a whole, all, this whole topic too is, is a part of that, you know, the trust fund and trusting God and really believing in, uh, what you believe in and standing firm on that is a part of this. This is all encompassing information. It's it's standing firm for something and being solid in your personal decision, not having to be swindled, not having to be swayed or anything like that. Um, in a way, we do need to be persuaded sometimes to see why something would work for us personally. But other than that, not the, not the, the funnily, I don't know. I just, I got a real, I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan. So, uh, I don't want to go too much into that, but really, I, I really was bringing awareness to this trust fund, um, way of thinking this trust fund idea, you know, and I just wanted to really present the question to you this Friday to to have you think about that. You know, how big is your trust fund with God? Do you have large trust? And this is, again, this is for me as well. Again, with all the things that are happening uh, with my personal situation and what, with what I'm trying to build here, I have to build a large trust fund with God to know and feel this is the way that I wanted to go. I wanted to be very honest and integral and in everything about it. I want it to be pure. I don't want any sh- shiftiness or nothing like that. Again, I told y'all that's kind of why I backed off of the gear. I don't talk about the gear a whole lot either because I didn't want to push the idea of you have to wear this to be cool. That's something else I'm getting off of. It's like if you want to support the mission and wear it because you're supporting the mission, then that's what I want you to wear it for. Not because it's a status symbol. That's what I'm getting away for, getting away from. So I backed off of that and I was like, let me reconstruct this um, dynamic of how I'm trying to introduce this to the marketplace. And, and the way that I'm going to introduce it, it is going to be mission backed. It is going to have a purpose behind it. And that is the major, major thing that I really wanted to have the, the gear for was that when you're wearing something, it's not just status symbol. It's I'm wearing this because this represents this and when i present that to you guys that way you'll have a better decision it'll be a better feeling of wearing those articles of clothing as opposed to it supposedly pushing a status symbol and because i don't want to get into that i still i shop at target walmart you know tj maxx type stuff and if i see something that looks cool to me i will get it it doesn't matter what brand it is you know what i mean uh, unless I am purchasing something that's mission based. Again, you know, there are Four Ocean has that. You can purchase their bracelets that help fuel their mission to clean up the ocean. And I'm actually going in that direction, y'all. Something of that nature. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, think about all of these things, y'all. Think about all the stuff that I talked about the the trust fund with god your your personal trust fund we all go through our own personal journeys with those things and i think it's important to bring awareness to it to highlight it so that people can 
discuss it, maybe meditate it, uh, meditate on it in their own in their own time frame after you listen to this and put some some up building information to to think about throughout the day and not something that's that's goofy. <laughs> but outside of that, y'all are always, always, always remember that mindset matters more than anything else. Again, next Friday, I will be um, sharing a new playlist. It'll be a new segment that I'll do every Friday, Monday and Wednesdays. Now will just be the motivational th- topics that I choose, such as this one. And then we'll, we will go from there. Again, um, www.mindsetmattersmore.net. If you want to jump in to the Institute, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend trying it out. It is $40 to start and it will be $40 a month. And that is the truth. And that is the honest the honest thing. And it is a system that I have built that teaches you meditation, that teaches you certain disciplined activities, and that helps you to ask fact-finding questions to dive more into you. And I truly believe that the world needs to dive more into themselves to activate that legend with inside themselves. That's why I created the program. That's why it's at the price point it is because I want it to be super affordable. And that is why it is built. It is to tap into all of the legends that really want to look for more. All right. So love you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend and week here. And I'll see you guys next time. Anytime. Out.